All right, uh, I'm gonna do a quick review on this joystick here. This is actually be my second time doing it. The video messed up last time. I don't know what happened, but anyway, this is the Cytec Cyborg X joystick. Um, I've had it for approximately five days, and I'm just doing this video uh, as a favor to anybody thinking about buying it. So let me begin with all the bad things and there's a good list of bad things uh, this isn't this is a bad stick by the way <coughs> first of all the first day of me even having this thing uh, this handle here which detaches uh, I heard a rattling noise I opened the base of the rattling thing and there's a clip there and this came out of the this came out of the bottom of the handle I don't know what it was for but it was there and it was really irritating um, wouldn't expect that for something I've owned for only one day second thing this thing comes with the Allen key for adjusting adjusting there's an Allen screw right here and up here to adjust this thing can rotate forward so you can adjust the buttons uh, you can undo this one here and adjust the hand height the Allen screws have already stripped out the heads of the screws are already stripped so they can't even be moved I had to use a flathead to get those to move and that is after uh, I mean pretty light usage I wouldn't say it was any you know, I didn't torque them over with, you know, a thousand pounds of torque or anything. I was just twisting them with my hand, and they are already stripped. It's uh, pretty cheap, if you ask me. Um, third thing, this is kind of minor. This screw here, this actually, here, I'm going to undo this. I've already pre-loosened this. I'm going to set the camera down. I have to set this down again. See that's how this sticks attached. There's like a base it sits on, and then this goes on it right there. Uh, I'm doing this backwards, like there, like that, and then you screw this gray screw in, and that's all. It, that's how you attach it. But the thing is, after you use the stick for a while, that screw becomes so tight that it's nearly impossible to unscrew. It took me a good five minutes to get that thing undone. It's just a pretty bad design. Um, the fourth thing, the, the head of the joystick here, uh, this is adjustable. You can move it forward and backward. You, you can't adjust it side to side so it can't rotate. It's stuck in this position. But the thing is, under your thumb, the head really flexes and you can feel it moving. Um, it's kind of irritating when you're trying to shoot a weapon or something and, and the head flexes under the pressure of your thumb. Um, the fifth thing, and, and this is just absolutely unacceptable. Uh, I've probably used this thing less than three hours. Uh, and these buttons right here, you can hear them clicking. Well, this one doesn't sound so crisp. Well, the reason for it is it's already fallen off. This, this button is not supposed to be detachable, by the way. Very light usage. Very light. I, I can't even explain how that would even happen. That's just yeah, I don't know what to say about it it just broke on me much like the Allen screws there I guess just cheap build quality sixth thing and this is probably the most irritating thing about the stick let me get a side view here okay this is here's the mechanism down here the spring and all that look how much flex look how much the stick moves. Notice that nothing's moving down there. This is just the stick wobbling. This is how much play the stick has. This isn't a dead zone. Um, I mean, this is just a, a wobbly stick. I'm trying to get it background on the monitor so you guys can get a good idea for how much it's moving. And I just want to do a comparison. As a comparison, this is the stick I bought to replace that one already. This is the Thrustmaster T16000M. It's a great stick, by the way. But notice how I barely touch this, and when, when this stick receives an input, you're going to see a green light come on. I'm going to barely touch this stick. See that? And it already received an input. This one here, this stick here, I mean, look how wobbly. This is me moving the stick with my... Okay, the button fell off. Great example. Um, but there's just so much wobble in this handle. When you're flying a plane, it's ridiculously hard to get your your nose lined up on an enemy plane or whatever you're doing going in for a landing 
it, it's so imprecise because of all this play in the stick here. Notice that the this isn't moving. It's not receiving any input with all this movement. This is the number one thing that is wrong with this thing. You know, amongst the many other things I've already said. And lastly, um, the software that came with it. Uh, after installing it, my computer randomly restarted three times. I keep a very clean system. You know, I, I reinstall regularly. Stay on top of things and uh, I don't know. I, I uninstalled the software. I hadn't had an issue since. So, just wanted to... Uh, I'll go ahead and throw in some good features. I mean, it does have a dual throttle. You can split. Um, has some buttons down here with the shift key. You can assign to something if the software works. The stick looks cool, um, but it does not... It, it, it's not worth it because the thing doesn't function properly. Um, it's very hard to handle with that wobbly stick like that. Buttons falling off. Um, so this thing's heading back to where <coughs> I got it from, and I would definitely recommend this stick here. This is the Thrustmaster T16000M. Great stick, great feel, but I'll leave that for another review. All right.